The macroeconomic related headwinds have compelled manufacturers to reduce production and employment during the first quarter of the year. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Man's Director of Research and Advocacy, Olua Shegun Oshidikbe, made these announcements during a press conference in Lagos that the Manufacturers CEO's Confidence Index was presented. The report indicates that although there is a slight sense of optimism with the MCCI points slightly surpassing the confidence threshold of 50 points, the current business conditions and employment levels remain below 50 points. Man attributes this to the persistent impact of inflation, increased energy prices, exchange rates instability, and customs duty rates. So, happening now is the presentation of the Man CEO's Confidence Index for quarter one, 2024, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Interestingly, the report that we are presenting today confirms, confirms a moderate improvement in the aggregate index score, AIS, evidence by bigger increase for 51.8 points to 53.5 points for the first time in the last six quarters. Notwithstanding, this performance shows that the manufacturing sector is set on the path of restoration and recovery. At least to the level recorded in quarter 3, 2022, with the hope of improvement in the next quarter. So, the aggregate in the score is based on four diffusion factors. By diffusion factors, we looked at, first of all, the business condition in the period that we are measuring. Then we look at what is the expected business condition in the next quarter, the following quarter. We also focus on what is the condition and present situation within the quarter that we are looking at and look at the expectation in the following quarter. The report also highlights a 20% surge in production and distribution cost in the first quarter of 2024, along with a further decline of 9.7% in capacity utilization. Undoubtedly, the manufacturing sector remains the most suitable driver of steady economic growth, inflow of forex exchange, and enduring shared prosperity. Man is hopeful that the government will intentionally prioritize the manufacturing sector by implementing the sector-specific recommendation contained in the report. This is the surest way of reforming the sector and repositioning the economy towards sustainable growth and development.